all of us as well we've got Zai standing by how are you doing my friend after a pretty crazy series good good much better after after game two that's for sure <laughs> i don't blame you at all but overall right you, did we talk about that game too it was very crazy you were playing against the the quick swap up of lineups did it throw you off in any way um to be honest no i mean like the the hero player combination was was the same it was a void spirit in both games and i think um i mean if you would have told me that it was the same player from game one not saying mid one is better or worse or whatever okay. but it was still kind of like you know same gameplay coming out from them i think in general like in regards to that question the, the core of the team is just so strong so even if you swap out a player here and there there'll be uh there'll be an incredible team no matter what now we also saw the new patch come in yesterday. I wanted to get your thoughts on it while we've got you here. Was it too much for a big changes or anything, or did you guys just kind of brush over it and, and not really change too much for yourselves? Yeah, I think it, I think it's one of those patches that's kind of hard to um, analyze right away to to realize the impact of it. Uh, you kind of just have to to keep playing and see how it affects the game and kind of adjust accordingly. But uh, for now, I don't think we made any any giant adjustments. I'm just curious. I, I was watching the draft thinking there was no way in hell you could pick anything but Meepo. Was there a discussion or was it just taking time to dictate like what your lanes would be? Pretty much. I mean, we had a couple of options, but uh, against OG in particular, you always have to do this guessing game. Uh, you have to consider that the heroes can go specific lanes and stuff like that. So even though like, oh, hey, we can pick this hero, he'll stomp alchemist in lane if it turns out alchemist is going safely maybe it's not that good um, maybe he's a so, support or something yeah. right you never know yeah yeah i mean it's kind of how drafting is these days it's kind of a lot of mind games so i mean we said a lot meepo as the as the optimal choice and i think uh, it worked how out. do you feel how do you feel about playing online we asked the same question yeah. to seb and no tail and they say that they're at a significant disadvantage from not being able to go to lands yeah, I definitely agree. It's it's hard to get into the same state of mind as you are when you're at a LAN because you're so kind of engrossed in this LAN environment and for a set amount of time after you've you know, flown somewhere, all you're doing and thinking about is this tournament you're playing. But now, when you're just at home, it's a bit, it's a bit harder to get into that mindset. But uh, at the same time, I think we're all, we're all grateful that we can actually continue playing uh, online. Otherwise, I'm sure we would all you know, fall over from boredom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, how are you holding up in Sweden, by the way? I was expecting to see you again in LA, and then you know, suddenly you're you were all just trapped indoors. You still having fun? I don't know about fun, but I mean, it's quite lenient here, and it's not uh, it's not as um, like locked down to, as as other countries. So um, I'm doing p fine personally for the state of the country. I, I can't really comment, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. I'll endure. Now, in, in terms of you, what you're saying there about obviously having to play online rather than being LAN and, and how you get yourselves ready, is there anything special you guys are doing specifically for the online games? Like I don't know, just meeting up a little bit in terms before, talking a bit more, anything to, to help you guys settle in? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're always talking, we're always watching uh, pretty much every single game that's going on, whether, whether it's our region or, or different region. Um, and so there's always, like, when you watch games, there's always a dialogue um, between what's going on in other games and what you think is good and stuff like this. So and that stuff's ongoing, even though it's, it's online. And what would you say has been the biggest surprise from either region in the, the tournament so far? Well, I think HR had a pretty big upset mm. today against VP. I think VP pretty much undisputed. I mean, they won the last one, right? Comisly. Yeah. Well, not Comisly, but they beat OG in a uh, pretty hype grand finals. So I think, uh, yeah, past few days, that's probably the biggest upset. Definitely. Any further questions from you two guys? No, not really. Sure. Just, uh, you know, keep, uh, appreciate you guys taking part. Uh, yeah. I guess, obviously, you know. Being asked to play Pro Dota isn't really much of a <laughs> much of a favor. It's but hard. Yeah, I'm glad it, it's a treat to watch. Yeah, yeah. No, we're, we're happy to play. So, yeah, thank Thanks you for, for entertaining us. Thank you for giving us the good games and thank you for your time, Zai. Good luck in the future thank games.